Welcome back again to this, and I'm now using Grand Cross officially for now. Yeah, the Grand Cross is there basically to let me take a few hits and you know... Ah, come on! <clears throat> again, that was too easy. That's why I couldn't get it, because exactly. Ah. Chuck's ghost is plain obnoxious, in all honesty. Before you ask, why can't, why don't I aim for anything else? Well, simply I can't. Because the only thing the game gives you is a knife. The knife is useful to still deal chip damage to Shaft, but it doesn't help me avoid damage. The hell? Go away, dragon. Oh, come on! I was so close to this one, and of course comes the stupid bat to take it away from me. Ugh. Be thankful, by the way, that I'm not recording everything, because the session that I win in is the one that's going up. So, if it's this one, this one is the one that goes up, and of course, after that, we take on the man- I think it, this is a final battle, right? What I'm gonna do is not take him on just yet, there's still something to do in level 3 and level 2. Ah, stupid behemoth. Ugh, that's so See, I hate how fast I have to be in this fight. I get it, it's part of the game's challenge, but still. <sighs> and suddenly the item crush, the knife's item crush isn't very good. You just stand there, and you're likely gonna take a lot of chip damage. So yeah, basically once I beat this level, I'm going back to the others. Before beating the game. What's this thing? Okay. Ugh! Come on! We're getting close. Okay, I think that I- I think I did it. Woo! Okay, that takes care of Shaft's ghost. I guess the Vahimoth is much easier to avoid than the stupid dragon thing, but whatever. Let's just take it. 
And there we go. And that's the end, and that is almost the end, because... Yep, there's still one more thing for us to do. Oh, thank you for giving me the cross. I'm keeping this. I think it's much better. Then are there something here? There should be at least worse I know. So, because the next game doesn't have it, I'm gonna do something here. <clears throat> Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! It wasn't by my hand that I have returned. I was called back by humans wishing to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. By enough talk, haven't you? And I'll leave you with the game's amazing track. That is Dance of Illusion, which became basically a signature theme. So, how do I know which attack he is using? If he raises the outer hand, he's gonna use this fireball attack. If his inferno attack is dependent on which hand he stretches outside. If he raises his, out, his outer hand, he's going to use fireball inferno. If he's going to, if he raises his inner hand, He's going to rate to use the Devil Inferno. No, he's going to use the Inferno Hellfire. And this thing is really insane to dodge. We're gonna see exactly what we're dealing with next time. Because yeah, this I'm just gonna do another attempt to get the game over. Just for the sake of tradition. And I'm gonna go back to the previous levels to find the alternate path. So that we can get Maria's path, so that we can do something with Maria as far as that goes. Hopefully that's okay with everyone. So here we go, second attempt. Pay attention to his hand. That is the cue for you to know what attack, what inferno he's going to use. Again, Fireball Inferno, he raises his outer hand. I say inner and outer because, of course, it's by Sprite, not by his model. If he raises his outer hand, he's going to use that Fireball Triad. If he raises his inner hand, though, he's going to use the, inf the Inferno variant. Which is the mod, which, as you can see, at least for me, has been pretty easy to dodge because you're. Well, basically, these are all attacks Dracula does most of the time, so if you've played one Castlevania game outside of the original, you pretty much already know what to expect as far as this goes. Because the Inferno attack, I think, was introduced here. I don't remember him doing. No, he doesn't do Inferno in. He doesn't do Inferno Hellfire in the other game, so yeah, that will be it. Do be careful with this, his fireball is insanely fast as you just saw. 
And yeah, watch his movement. If you get cornered, you're pretty much done. Like I just am. Oh, he just backed off. Okay, that works. Whoa! I don't know the timing for that. So, next time we meet, we'll be looking for the alternate pathway to the other levels. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.